Tens of thousands of Ivorians out in support at the inauguration of Alassane Ouattara in the capital Yamasukru, six months after he won the country's presidential election against the former president Laurent Gbagbo, who was ousted from power in a French-led military intervention in April. The scenes are a far cry from the post-election violence in which 3,000 people were killed as the two men struggled for power, almost plunging the West African nation of nearly 20 million people into civil war. World leaders and various heads of state showed up too. The French President Nicolas Sarkozy, the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and Nigeria's President Goodluck Jonathan, to name a few. Alassane Ouattara, a former World Bank executive, promised Ivorians a new beginning after years of political instability and future economic prosperity. This day is for all Ivorians, the beginning of a new era which marks our common will to create a new page in the history of our country. The serious crisis which Ivory Coast experienced following the elections on the 31st of October and the 28th of November 2010 is now behind us. But the task before him is colossal. Poverty, unemployment and economic woes are widespread. Ethnic and religious divides exist. Watara has promised to set up a Truth and Reconciliation Commission to try and heal the wounds from the post-election violence. And the International Criminal Court is promising an investigation. But not everyone is happy with Ouattara as president. There are those who think Alassane Ouattara is a puppet for the country's former colonial master, France. Without France's intervention to oust Laurent Gbagbo, it's unlikely Ouattara would be president today. Those who believe you can't get something for nothing are asking, what will Ouattara have to do for France, which has helped put him in power? The challenge ahead for Alassane Ouattara is huge. He must unite what is a deeply divided country. The hope is that with his experience and international connections, he can help put this country back on its feet. Yvonne Dede, Al Jazeera, Yamasuku, in Ivory Coast.